Hello there, welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be discussing IMU calibration, excessive warm-up times and gimbal off-horizon problems. Some of these can all be attributed to one thing which is IMU calibration. What is the IMU? Well the IMU is the internal measuring unit inside your Phantom 3. There are actually two in the Phantom 3, one for the gimbal and one for the aircraft itself. The IMU contains all the sensors, the gyros, and it allows the aircraft to make sure it remains stable and level in the air. That's why it's very important that it is calibrated and it knows where perfectly level is. When you first get your Phantom 3, the first thing you want to do before even flying it is calibrate the IMU. Reason for this being is it would have been calibrated at the factory, but it's been put in a box, put on a boat, a plane, it's most certainly been in a van before it's got to you. So all of those sensor values have been knocked around and they're no longer valid. So before you fly your craft, you want to do an IMU calibration. If you are getting excessive warm-up times, so when you put your aircraft on the ground and before you start to fly, it says warming up and it's taken a couple of minutes before it lets you fly away. An IMU calibration will help with that and there is a certain way to do it to make that a lot better as well. And the third is off horizon issues. If the horizon level of your gimbal is not level when not moving the aircraft, so if it's stationary in the air and the horizon is not straight, a proper cold IMU calibration can resolve that issue. That is an ongoing issue with the Phantom 3. If the IMU calibration doesn't resolve it, you would have to go back to DJI, but it has been found in a lot of cases that the cold IMU calibration does solve the problem. So, there is a process for doing this, which has been proven to work, and it works better than any other method. You're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a perfectly flat surface. It's no good putting the Phantom 3 on a tilted tile on the floor. It has to be a perfectly level surface. So find yourself a table, you know, um, a mantelpiece, something that is perfectly level. Check it with a level, check it twice. Get it so it's level. Just place it on that surface and it should be good. Now, before you start the IMU calibration, you want to get your Phantom 3 as cold as possible. Now this may sound a little odd, but there is a very good reason for this. The IMU in your Phantom 3 is heated. The sensor values are... They use a heater for the sensor values to allow it to see the broadest range as possible. Now, as soon as you turn the Phantom 3 on, that heater begins to warm up and heat the IMU. Now, if you imagine your Phantom 3 is at room temperature, it is warming up from warm temperature onwards. What this means is if you calibrate your IMU at that point onwards, when you turn it on out in the field, it has to wait to get up to that temperature before it will allow you to fly. So there is a trick, and this has been done for years with various flight controllers, which is to get your Phantom 3 as cold as possible before doing the IMU calibration. Now, some people have been putting these in the fridge. I'm not going to tell you to do that. Personally, I don't think it's a good idea for many, many reasons. Um, what I would suggest is do this late at night. Get it out on the patio with the battery removed. Leave it there half an hour. Get it as cold as possible. Whatever your nighttime temperature is, is fine. It is all relative. It needs to be as cold as you can in your area. If you're living somewhere where it is very warm even at night, the only other thing I could suggest is maybe put it in your car with the air conditioning in front of the vent for 15 minutes. Um, that is dry, uh, dehumidified air, so there's no moisture in that air. Um, but the trick to this is get your Phantom 3 as cold as possible before doing it. So you want to set yourself up and get yourself ready to go. You want your table ready, perfectly flat surface. Leave your Phantom outside on the patio getting as cold as possible. Set your handset up. Get this ready to go. As I said earlier, the second you turn that Phantom 3 on, the IMU will begin to warm up. So you need to get ready. So now your Phantom 3 is as cold as possible. It's been outside for at least half an hour with the battery removed. 
Um, as I said, I have seen some people put these in the fridge. I'm, I cannot recommend that in any way or form. You do want to get it, though, as cold as you possibly can. So just chill the Phantom 3 down as cold as you possibly can. Whilst that's finishing chilling, get the Pilot app open. Click on camera. Click on mode. Under the aircraft options, you'll see there's an option for sensors. If you tap on that... If you scroll to the bottom, under the heading Calibrate, there are two buttons, Check IMU and IMU Calibrate. They are both currently greyed out because the aircraft is not on. The second the aircraft comes on, those buttons will become available. Now the trick to this is to do it as quickly as possible because the IMU will begin to warm up the second you turn the Phantom 3 on. So have your handset turned on, your app ready to go on this screen ready. Bring your Phantom 3 in, get it on the perfectly level surface, make sure that surface is perfectly level, place your battery in, turn your aircraft on and within a second that option for IMU calibration will become available. There it is, it's now available and press and press it as quickly as you can. Once you have begin the calibration it will take approximately 10 minutes to fully calibrate. Just leave it, don't touch it, don't knock it, don't do anything whilst it's performing the calibration. Um, once the calibration is completed on the same perfectly several level surface go back into the mode options if you go down to gimbal at the bottom here perform gimbal auto calibration that is the second thing to follow once that has performed that you should then be good to go as i said the cold imu calibration will definitely help with excessive warm-up times so if you're finding your warm-up times is, is, is 50 seconds a minute a minute and a half do the cold IMU calibration and it will solve that for you.